Hello, my name is Edward and I'm the president of Valarm. This video shows you how to do remote air quality and CO2 monitoring with Valarm. This is a Valarm compatible CO2 sensor made by Yoctopus. The Valarm Y cable you see here allows you to charge a Sony Android device while using USB OTG to host one or more external sensors at the same time. After you've installed the Valarm Pro app, Plug your power into the female micro USB end of the Y cable. This can be power from solar panels, a vehicle, or from the wall as seen in this demo. Next, plug in your USB sensors. In this case we're using an air quality carbon dioxide sensor, although you can connect Valarm to any number of a variety of sensors using a standard USB hub. See shop.valarm.net for more info on currently available sensors. Last. Plug the Y cable in to your Valarm Android device and you'll be prompted to launch the Valarm app. After you launch the Valarm Pro app, use the menu button to go to the All Settings screen and then click the Yoctopu Sensor Settings. Next click the VOC Volatile Organic Compounds and CO2 button. Turn on Yoctopu Sensors by clicking the button in the upper right and then enable the CO2 sensor. Click the Scan All button to verify that the sensor has been detected and take sensor readings. You'll see that the current sensor value is put next to the Help button. In this case, our environment is a little over 1000 ppm CO2. You can use the Valarm app's interval timer to get your sensor data at regular intervals, like every minute or every hour. You can also use the sliders to set your custom threshold values for minimum and maximum levels for any sensor. If a value goes above or below your specified threshold, Valarm will be triggered and can upload the alert's GPS location and sensor values to the Valarm Tools website at tools.valarm.net. You can also receive alerts via text message and email. See Valarm's other videos for step-by-step -step instructions on linking your devices to the Valarm Tools cloud site. If you breathe on the sensor and scan values again, you'll verify everything is connected properly and see a rise in CO2 levels. Now your Valarm device is ready to be deployed for remote monitoring. Go back to the home screen to arm Valarm. Now that Valarm is armed and deployed, you will see all of your Valarm sensor data in real time on the Valarm Tools website at tools.valarm.net. You can also receive alerts when there is a max or min trigger. See Valarm's other videos for instructions on how to link all of your sensor data to the Valarm Tools Cloud, as well as how to configure text message and email alerts from Valarm. Please don't hesitate to contact us at info at if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions for another video.